Boston University had run the table, 11-0, coming from behind in six of their last seven games, three times in the second half. BU moved into the 1AA playoffs as the number four seed in the nation and earned a first round home game against the University of Northern Iowa. The Panthers were a seasoned playoff team and in the first half they combined the running of Jeff Stovall and the throwing of quarterback Kurt Warner to forge an early lead. A second field goal by Scott Obermeyer gave Northern Iowa a six point halftime advantage. The Panthers then took the second half kickoff and marched 72 yards in seven plays, with Turner Ward taking a Warner pass 40 yards for a touchdown. Just three plays later, Robert Doherty, now playing with an aggravated shoulder and a broken finger on his left hand, was called for intentional grounding in the end zone. The safety made it 21-6 Northern Iowa. The Terriers were in trouble. If ever there were a time they needed a big play, this was it. So it's a first down for the Panthers. This is Stovall. Stovall with a flag throw, drops the football. BU has it coming back. Remember, you can return it. Here it goes, it's John Schaefer. Schaefer is in for a touchdown. Schaefer's touchdown brought the crowd and the team back into the game. Still, the BU offense had scored only once heading into the fourth quarter, and they'd have to find a way to move the football. Darty was being pressured by an aggressive Northern Iowa defense. He was sacked 10 times in the ball game. But the BU defense had toughened too. With a little more than eight minutes to play, the Terriers took over on their own eight yard line, still trailing by eight points. It'll be known as the drive. Three times they were faced with third down. On third and one at their own 17, Darty completes to dependable sophomore Ed Manti, a converted quarterback. On third and 15 from the 40, it's Jason Andrade for 34 yards down to the Northern Iowa 26. And three plays after that, on third and 12, it's Manti again, good for 21 yards. First and goal, BU. But fittingly, this 14-play, 92-yard march would end on a third down play. Darty straight back to throw. Everybody out into the pattern. He has time. Now he's running out of time. He pumps once. Now rolls left. Now he steps up at the 10. Now he'll run. He's at the 5. He drives down and in for the touchdown. Robert Darty somehow got into the end zone. The biggest play of the year for Boston University. The pass the corner of the end zone. BU's first home playoff game would go to overtime. The Terriers' first possession ended abruptly after just two plays, with Darty throwing his third interception of the day. Northern Iowa takes over on offense, needing just a field goal to end the season for the Terriers. Obermeyer lines up from 20 yards out, an extra point, but from a sharp angle. Waiting for the snap, the long count, the kick is up, and it hits the upright! In the second overtime, Northern Iowa had the ball first, and Obermeyer would get another chance. This time, he missed everything, wide right. Any score now would give the Terriers a sudden death win, but you knew it wouldn't be quite that easy. Mike Morello's 33-yard field goal attempt was blocked by Todd Harrington, but Morello's effort to keep the ball alive would be critical. Andre Allen of the Panthers is called for a face mask penalty. BU gets a fresh set of downs at the eight-yard line. The offense comes back on the field. On first down, Zach Burwell got halfway to the goal line. On second down, he finished the trip. They go with a double tight end. They give to Burwell up the middle. He's in! Zach Burwell scores! Boston University wins it! This is amazing. I'm glad all these people came out to see us. They support us all year. And uh, I think it's our destiny. You know, for that guy to miss the field goal that close, you know, we, said, we came, to, came together as a group offensively, and we knew that it was our time just to come and score. The Terriers had won their Yankee Conference championship far from home. But now, just one week later, they had a chance to celebrate another dramatic win with more families, friends, and fans. BU 
Purdue would travel to Moscow, Idaho for the national quarterfinals, receiving a rousing early morning send-off to begin their long journey. Moments before the opening kickoff, the Terriers learned that the scholarships cut in 1992 had been restored. This remarkable season would end in Idaho, but the program was reborn, and BU just wouldn't go away until another Terrier quarterback nearly pulled off another miracle finish. Trailing 21 to nothing, with Doherty and Moore both hurt, junior Chris Pinsons threw a touchdown pass to sophomore wideout Chris Walker with 39 seconds to play. After BU recovered an onside kick, Pinsons hit Walker again for another touchdown with 13 seconds left. It could be said that the Terriers simply ran out of time, but never did they run out of effort or character or pride. Years from now, players will come into this locker room and tell stories about the magic of 1993. 12-1, the Lambert Cup, the ECAC Team of the Year, an undefeated regular season, Yankee Conference champions. But now I think what this team does for an encore is win the conference championship again, get in the playoffs, and win the whole thing. It was truly an unbelievable ride. Could it possibly get any better? I tell you, I haven't won a national championship yet, so maybe I'll get back to you next year and tell you that it could get better.